I'm not done yet, guys, so let's just keep going on to Matthew Momentum. So this one is actually kind of a key for team game. It was hard, so I had to fight all the boxers in this game. It was hard. So I'm going to give this one a key for team game, a 9. It was hard, but I loved it. Last but not least, the cutest game in the whole wide world in Nintendo 64 is Diddy Kong Racing. And this game is actually Red KA too. And this game I had fun on, and I actually played it a lot, because I love to race the racers, I hate the red. Well, they're cute. Uh, my favorite one was Banjo. I'm Banjo. He's also on Xbox, as you know what I'm saying. So I'm going to give this one an 8. So 8 or 9 could win for this. And I'm going to choose... Super Smash Brothers. What a relief, guys. You have won. Thank you. And I will clear this up. Wait. Next game is GameCube, and I'm going to show you what they are. Now, some of them might be not in this, like, these discs right here, but I'm going to tell you what, I'm going to set them up. And now, why don't we start off, we look it around. And I'm going to start with Luigi's Mansion. And this game is actually fun. You get the blast goes. It was haunting too at first. But I didn't know what was going to happen at first. But this is my first time playing. The GameCube was kind of fun, but I accidentally stepped on something by mistake. The yellow controller. But I got to buy myself a new GameCube controller. As you know what I'm saying. This game was kind of fun. You get the blast ghost in this game. Had some fun. Wreck around the ghost. It was hard to shoot. Aim at the target. I'm sorry to hate that. I, I'm sorry to say I lost my own thing. But this game is actually pretty cool. You can see that um, this game was actually released in 2000. Um, I think 2004. Or 2001 or 2002, I think. Wasn't right what I said. So I'm going to give this one um, a 10 or 11 or 12. Or 13. I'm going to give this one a 12. Next, we have... SpongeBob SquarePants Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. This game was released in hmm, 2001 or 2002. This was a pretty good game too, but it was hard and me and Tim got scared. Me and Tim played this together, but we got scared of the Flying Dutchman of who he is. He's a really haunting man under the sea, which was a funny feeling to me and I didn't understand. So, so what you're about to witness guys is um the Flying Dutchman is scary in this game, so you really need to watch out for him if you ever had this game. Like, meaning. Take my meaning, guys. I'm going to give this one a 10. But, I mean, 11. I think so. 11. I'll give that one an 11. 